Good morning, everybody. Let us start with class two of artificial intelligence and machine learning. In today's class, we will discuss about foundation of AI that includes eight different subjects that converge together to build a perfect AI system. The subjects include philosophy, mathematics, economics, neuroscience, psychology, computer engineering, control theory, and cybernetics and linguistics. Coming to the first subject that is philosophy, it focuses on formal rules used to draw a valid conclusions. It also deals with how does mind arise from physical brain, where does knowledge come from, how does knowledge leads to action. Aristotle in 345 BC itself had proposed a syllogism to represent rational part of the mind. It deals with premises and common term. The Let us take an example. The first premise is all dogs are animals and second premise is all animals have four legs. In these two premises, animal term is common. When you conclude, you can see that the common term disappears from the uh, both the premises to get the conclusion saying all dogs have four legs. Raman Lul, after Aristotle proposed the reasoning system, Da Vinci designed first mechanical calculator, Pascal built Pascaline, Leibniz built mechanical device that operates purely on the basis of concepts. The subject also throws light on different aspects of physical uh, human brain such as dualism, empiricism, induction, logical positivism, confirmation theory, utility theory, consequentialism, deontological ethics. Coming to the dualism, human brain is dual in nature. It comes with physical as well as logical part. Physical part is combination of neurons. Logical part is how does mind arise from the physical brain. Coming to the second term, empiricism, brain tries to understand through its various senses like ear, eyes and then taste bud cells etc. Induction says that when a human is exposed in the environment with other entities, it will try to understand. It is like how do we, how do we experience our surrounding entities that says induction, logical positivism. It will try to gather the data based on the observations. Whatever I says, it is a data. What you hear, that is a data. So this is how brain tries to accumulate data. Logical positivism says that whatever sensory inputs are getting the information, that is a raw fact. Now next theorem is confirmation theory. It says that when you want to store these raw data as a information or a knowledge, then you have our human brain uh, implicitly applies confirmation theory. For example, when you catch a fire, it hurts. Now this is a knowledge, right? So this is how it will try to build a knowledge. Now next term is utility theorem. Utility theorem says that decision makers should consider interest of many individuals while taking a rational decision. For example, Karnataka government has made uh, for all the human woman's bus will be free, right? This is a utility theorem. The next term, consequentialism. It says that whether the policy is right or wrong, it depends on the expected outcome of the policy. We have to spend a certain time in order to understand whether this policy is correct or wrong. Now the last term is deontological ethics. It says that human brain will obey the universal law to check and it acts upon that. For example, universal laws like don't lie, don't kill. So human brain uh, deals with deontological ethics also implicitly. Now coming to the second subject, second foundation that is mathematics. It deals with if there is a problem, how it has to be computed. If there is a conclusion to be made, how to draw a conclusion. If there is uncertain information, how to use it to get certain outcomes, right? So George Boolean has worked to design a Boolean logic. We have already studied and or not XOR, right? So this concept was proposed by Boolean. Then Fridge extended Boolean logic to generate first order logic, which includes object and relations. Mathematics also deals with probability. It tries to understand uh, what is the outcome of the event if the information is uncertain. Mathematics also deals with statistics, which is a discipline that concerns with 
collection, organization, analysis, interpretation and presentation of data. It also deals with algorithm which is a finite set of unambiguous statements to solve the problem. Whenever there is a problem to be solved, we have to solve it step by step, right? Now we had one uh, trivial algorithm proposed uh, finding GCD of two numbers uh, which was proposed by Euclid. It also deals with incompleteness. What is the meaning of incompleteness? Whenever you prove the theorem and that theorem has got certain statements and these statements do not have proof only. This says incompleteness. The next term is computability. It says that whether the problem can be solved in a finite amount of time. Can we solve something in a finite amount of time? That is computability. Next is tractability. This says that whether the problem can be solved in a polynomial amount of time. What is polynomial amount of time? If there is a problem, if you have algorithm, that problem has to be solved very quickly. Otherwise, order of growth should be either log n, n, n square, worst case n cube. It should not go beyond that. We should not have algorithms order, order of growth as 2 to the power n or n factorial. The last term is NP completeness. It says that if there is a NP hard problem, NP hard problem means th these are the problems that are very very complicated to solve and they do not have deterministic algorithm to solve them in a polynomial amount of time. So when there is a complex problem, can you convert that into a simplified version of it and solve it? That is NP completeness. Now coming to the third foundation that is economics. It deals with how do we make a decision in accordance with our preference. How should we do this when others may not go along? How should we do this when payoff is too far? Economics is a study of preferences, desires and social well-being other than money. So economics is not at all related to money. It is related to our desires and social well-being. So this economics comes with decision theory. It will try to make a decision based on the utility theorem. Okay, so it is connected to utility theorem. It comes with game theory. It is a study of mathematical models of strategic interactions among rash rational agents. Example, you know, if uh, there are two robbers, okay, and they are not accepting that they have robbed the bank, you can just throw a question in front of them. If both of you confess, then you have to serve three years imprisonment. If anyone confesses, the person who confesses will have only one year imprisonment and other person has to serve 10 years. So this is an example of game theory. Next, operation research. This is a, a subject that deals with how to make rational decisions when payoffs are not immediate but in future and those payoffs also depend on different several actions taken in sequence. The last one is satisfying. This is a concept which is related to making decisions that are not enough rather than very complicated calculations to obtain an optimal solution. With this we conclude here.